Hello trivia friends, welcome back to the Tormentes. My name is Sean, this is another round of the Ultimate Trivia Quiz. Round 89 is quite an awesome one. I've put together a good collection of questions that will challenge your general knowledge and see how much you know about the world around us. Keep track of how many questions you can answer correctly. Check the end of the video to see which rank you managed to get. The topics for today's quiz are... First up, the human body. Famous firsts. Mixed trivia questions. Picture trivia and... Famous Brands. Let's begin. Question 1. Which hormone is often referred to as the happy hormone? Estrogen, dopamine or keratin? The correct answer is dopamine. In which part of the body will you find the carpals and the metacarpals? In the foot, the hand or the spine? They are in the hand. Which of the following does not have a vaccine? Rhinitis, polio or tetanus? The correct answer is rhinitis. What is the formation of new blood vessels called osteogenesis, pathogenesis or angiogenesis? It is called angiogenesis. In which part of the body is ACL surgery performed? In the ankle, the hip or the knee? In the knee. Which of the following refers to being short or nearsighted? Myopia, glaucopia or hyperopia? Myopia or myopia. In which organ will you find the cerebellum? Is it in the liver, the heart or the brain? It is located in the brain. Which of the following will you not find in an adult human? The meninges, cloaca or the thalamus? Adult humans do not have a cloaca. To which condition does the term epilepsy refer? Blindness, deafness or death? It refers to blindness. Human beings are mammals and classified as marsupials, placentals or monotremes. They are placentals. Who was the first man to set foot on the moon? Lance Armstrong, Louis Armstrong or Neil Armstrong? The answer is Neil Armstrong. In what year was the first Harry Potter novel published? 1997, 98 or 1999? Nineteen ninety seven. Which city hosted the first edition of the modern Olympic Games? Paris, Athens or St. Louis? Athens. Who was the first reigning Queen of England? Queen Mary I, Queen Elizabeth I or Queen Victoria? Queen Mary I. Who was the first person to reach both the North and South Poles? Edmund Hillary, Robert Scott or Roald Amundsen? Rolled a Munson. What type of animal was Dolly the first animal to be cloned? Was she a sheep, a camel or a rat?
she was a sheep. Who made the first successful solo transatlantic flight? Charles Lindbergh, Amelia Earhart or Chuck Yeager? The correct answer is Charles Lindbergh. According to Greek mythology, who created the first man out of mud? Brahma, Prometheus or Zeus? Prometheus Which play is believed to be Shakespeare's first? The Twelfth Night, Romeo and Juliet or King Henry VI? King Henry VI Who was the first American to win a Nobel Prize of any kind? Theodore Roosevelt, Ernest Hemingway or Henry Kissinger? Theodore Roosevelt Which word is used in the NATO phonetic alphabet for the letter S? Sierra, smooth or secretary? Sierra Which brother of Fidel Castro succeeded him as president of Cuba? Miguel, Raul or Andres Castro? The correct answer is Raul Castro. Which music group had a hit with the song Mbop? Right Said Fred, Spice Girls or Hanson? The correct answer is Hanson. A picture created with many small pieces of glass or tile is called a mosaic, a tempera or a fresco. It is a mosaic. Used in food preparation, what do you call water with a high salt concentration? Is it marinade, zest or brine? It is called brine. What do you call the paved area at an airport where aircraft park, fuel, load and unload? Is it the apron, flight deck or the payload? It's called the apron. On a farm, what do you call a male pig that has been castrated? Is it a colt, a barrow or a polywog? It is a barrow. What type of musical instrument is a marimba? Is it a wind, stringed or percussion in instrument? A percussion instrument. Complete the saying, a bad workman always blames his apprentice, his tools or his wife. He blames his tools. In industry, galvanizing means to coat iron or steel with a protective layer of silver, lead or zinc. The correct answer is zinc. Bonus question. What do you call the tight, one-piece garment worn by dancers, acrobats and gymnasts? If you know the answer to this question, leave it in the comments and if you are enjoying this quiz, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps. Now back to the quiz. Can you name this phone brand? Blackberry. Can you name this country? It is Thailand. What type of bird is this? It is a blue jay. Can you name the logo? 
CBS. What type of tool is this? It is a wheel spanner. What type of snake is this? This is a cobra or a king cobra. What type of gemstones are these? Opals. What airline is this? Turkish Airlines. What movie is this? V for Vendetta. And can you name this city? Washington DC. Which of the following fashion companies was founded first? Louis Vuitton, Prada or Chanel? Louis Vuitton What does the Heineken company manufacture? Is it tires, beer or tennis balls? Beer During which season can you buy a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, autumn, spring or summer? It's available during autumn. Which company invented Bluetooth technology? Nokia, Motorola or Ericsson? The correct answer is Ericsson. Which energy drink claims to give you wings? Lucozade, Monster Energy or Red Bull? Red Bull Which cereal company makes the Rice Krispies brand? Is it Kellogg's, Nestle or Weetabix? The answer is Kellogg's. Before merging with X.com to form PayPal, what was the payment platform first known as? Backrub, Confinity or Kadabra? It was called Confinity. Used in skincare, retinol is a form of which vitamin? Vitamin A, D or E? Vitamin A. With which company did automaker Peugeot merge in 1976? Renault, Citroen or Bugatti? They merged with Citroen. Which of the following brands will you associate with vacuum cleaners, fans and hair dryers? Keurig, Dyson or Alpine? The correct answer is Dyson. That is all for today, folks. How many questions could you answer correctly? Take a look which rank you managed to get and share it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to answer today's bonus question. What do you call the tight one-piece garment worn by dancers, acrobats and gymnasts? If you know the answer, share it in the comments. And if you enjoyed today's quiz, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.